Hello everyone, welcome to another Funko Pop unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing the Stan Lee Comic Con exclusive Kevin Smith from uh, Fat Man. I think <laughs> Fat Man's like a brand or something he has. It's not like a TV show or a movie or anything. And by the way, speaking of TV show or movies, I don't know what uh, official line this belongs to. Usually it'll say movies or television right there. Uh, 483 leads me to believe this might be a part of movies or something because... Um, for example, I just unboxed uh, Joy from Blade Runner, and she's number 481 in movies. So I assume, you know, this is around the same number range, and this is a newer pop, obviously. So I assume this Kevin Smith is part of movies. Um, I don't know, though. So if somebody knows, let me know, because, you know, for certain things, they don't list, you know, uh, what it's part of. So depending on licensing and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, I got a Jane Son Bob logo right there. Kevin Smith, so pretty cool. And if you're wondering, yeah, Stanley Comic Con. This is in Los Angeles. Um, it says Stanley's LA Comic Con. It's got some sort of octopus on it. Um, I didn't even know that was a, a Comic Con. I had no idea until I heard about this pop. Um, but I got a hold of it because Hot Topic um, got a bunch of these pops. They got this one, and then there was an Ahsoka, which I actually did buy. Uh, let me see if I can grab it. I got this Ahsoka right here. Expect a video for that. Um, they had the dog from Rick and Morty as a flocked version. Uh, Snowball, I believe it was called. They had Moon Knight. Um, so they had several characters from the Stanley Comic Con that were shared exclusives to Hot Topic. And I know this one was going to sell because, uh, you know, it's Kevin Smith. I mean, I assume everybody would want this because uh, this is the first Kevin Smith pop they've made, aside from the Silent Bob, which is rare. Um, they did make a few other Kevin Smith pops, which were exclusive to San Diego Comic Con, the Funko Fun Days thing, or whatever that's called, um, where it wasn't really Kevin Smith. He was like in a costume, and it said Fat Man. But uh, this is like the first actual pop of Kevin Smith himself. Um, well, actually, no, Funko HQ had an exclusive to Comic Book Man, which said Kevin Smith. But anyways, they're all hard to find, is what I'm trying to say. But aside from this one, I was able to get a hold of, obviously. But the morning I went there, I went as soon as Hot Topic opened up, because I had a feeling these would sell. And then several people that were waiting with me, um, I wasn't with them, but they were there already. They all grabbed Kevin Smith. And some guys actually grabbed a couple of them, you know, people that buy a bunch of pops and sell them. Um, I don't do that. I just buy pops that I want. I'm not that kind of person. I'm only going to grab one. And I'm not going to grab all of them. I'm only going to grab the one I want. I could have easily grabbed the other Comic-Con exclusives, but I didn't. I grabbed Ahsoka, though, because Ahsoka was really cool looking. So, yeah. I just grabbed Kevin Smith and Ahsoka. That's it. One of each. Nothing else. I'm not a flipper. That's what they're called. People that buy pops and then sell them for more. Um, it's not really fair to other people because other people might want to get a hold of this but you know if somebody grabs all of them it's not fair to other people so I don't know I'm not that kind of person um, but anyways here's Kevin Smith right there wearing his fat man jersey pretty funny and this is obviously more modern Kevin Smith because you know he's obviously lost a lot of weight ever since you know the 90s when he was a lot bigger um, in the early 2000s uh, so his clothes are a lot saggier I guess and a white hat on right there. So pretty cool. Looks like Kevin Smith, obviously. Blue shoes. But uh, yeah, I'm actually glad to have this. Um, I really wish Funko would make more pops of, you know, famous people. Like, you know, movie directors and stuff like that. Um, they do have a director's line. They did James Gunn. They did uh, the guy that directed the new Ghostbusters, which I refuse to watch. Uh, what's his name? Paul... F Paul Feig or whatever, Feig. Um, but they should make other directors like Steven Spielberg, Stanley Kubrick, Quentin Tarantino, um, among others. So yeah, that'd be cool. I would love to have a Stanley Kubrick pop. Um, but yeah, that's Kevin Smith right there. Thanks for watching this, guys. And were you able to get a hold of him? Or did all the flippers buy them all? But uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching this. Bye-bye.